Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this super simple, easy to cinch produce bag that is roughly large in size. And don't forget to check the links in the description because I will link to my other produce bags. And for this project, we're going to be using size four worsted weight cotton yarn. And this is just the Lily Sugar and Cream and the color is teal. I'm also going to be using a size N or 15 or 10 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to begin our project by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook and we're going to chain 20. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will have my stitch tutorials listed down there for you. And once you have your 20 chains in place, then go ahead and skip your first two chains right here and diving into the back loop only of the third chain from your crochet hook, we're going to place a double crochet. And we're going to place one double crochet in the back loop only of each of the stitches in our row. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 18 double crochets as well as your chain two here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work slightly and we're going to place one double crochet in each of these front loops only from our previous row. And we're just going to place one double crochet in each of these front loops for our entire row. And when you get to the end of your row, it should look something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin a continuous loop pattern, which means we won't be starting and stopping each individual row, but instead it's going to act like more of a spiral. So what we're going to do is we are going to place one double crochet at the top of our first double crochet from our previous row right here. And we're just going to place one double crochet in each of our stitches in each of our rows. And you shouldn't really be able to tell where your row begins and ends because again, like I said, it should act like a spiral. So go ahead and place one double crochet in each stitch in each row to build the body of your produce bag. And I went ahead and crocheted 14 rows in total of my double crochet stitches. And so to finish off your produce bag, you're just going to place one single crochet in your next five stitches. And after you place your five single crochets, then you're just going to place one slip stitch in your next five stitches. And from here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And next, you're going to grab your strand of yarn and you are going to weave it in and out of your double crochet stitches going all the way around your row. And once you're done weaving your strand of yarn, make sure that you don't have any cinches and then go ahead and cut your strand of yarn. Then you're just going to tie the two yarn ends together a few times to secure them. And when you want to cinch up your produce bag, all you have to do is pull on that strand just like that. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you are making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.